Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're not going to be in the bee yard, we're going to be in the shop. We're going to be talking about murder hornets. Now, I know that murder hornets are kind of cliche at this point. I know that they were announced in 2020 and they stacked them on top of all of the other things that we had to deal with in 2020. And I decided that I wasn't going to make a video on murder hornets. I mean, I get a lot of questions. I get questions in my email, I get questions uh, in my comments. I have people on the street asking me, they know I'm a beekeeper, what are you gonna do about the murder hornets? Well, I read an article yesterday and they say that they found the very first murder hornet nest in Washington state on the Canadian border. So I thought I would make a video about murder hornets to let you know what I think about them. Now, I'm not an entomologist. I don't know a lot about all these insects or I don't know a lot about murder hornets, but I know what I've read and I've done a little bit of research on them and I know enough where I don't think that I'm going to be afraid, but I will give you the information that I have found and then you can decide for yourself. Now, if you're not a beekeeper, and some of the people who watch these videos aren't beekeepers, um, if you are a beekeeper, chances are you realize it's cliche and you've done your homework and you're not afraid of the murder hornet either. Maybe unless you're in Washington state, you might be a little bit concerned about them. Um, but for those of you who aren't beekeepers, what a murder hornet is, this is a giant paper wasp. It's a paper wasp, a giant hornet um, from, from Asia. It's the Asian giant hornet. And it is big. It's, I mean, I'm not going to fib to you. It's, it's two inches long. It's bigger than anything we've got here. Um, European hornets are big, but these Asian giant hornets, I mean, they're huge. And you get stung by one of those, it's going to hurt. Um, they actually say that our beekeeping gear will not protect us from the Asian giant hornet because the stinger is so long. They name it the Myrtle Hornet for a reason because I guess its venom is very strong and like a wasp, it can sting you over and over and over again, unlike a bee that can only sting you one time. When the bee stings you, it's done and it doesn't want to sting you. But sometimes I get the feeling that wasps and hornets and yellow jackets, that they enjoy it and they want to sting you over and over and over again. Um, but what do you do? The way that these scientists have managed to find the first murder hornet nest in the United States is they actually took a piece of dental floss, tied a tracking device. Now, I wouldn't want it to be that guy, but they tied a tracking device onto the murder hornet and let it fly back to its nest and they tracked it and they actually found the nest, um, I think it was in a tree, uh, inside of a tree. I think they plugged the top of the tree, uh, plugged the, the, the hole in the bottom of the tree, smoked them out or used insecticide to kill them. Anyways, they found the murder hornets. They are officially in the United States. And that begs the question, should we be worried? Should we be afraid? Um, I'm not afraid. And I'll tell you why. I think that the murder hornets are going to move very, very slowly throughout the United States. Um, and it's going to be quite some time before I see them in Georgia or anybody else sees them um, in the rest of the country. Now, I found a chart that shows where they expect these murder hornets to go, where they expect them to migrate to within the next 20 years. And fortunately for me in Georgia and you and most of the rest of the United States, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, the murder hornets are expected to possibly get into California, Oregon, and run down the coast and not actually make it into the interior of the United States. And that's over the next 20 years. They're saying 30 years before they get to places like Michigan and, and, and the Midwest. Um, so hopefully the bees will have learned by then how to defend themselves against the murder hornets. Now, in Asia, where the murder hornets come from, the bees have adopted a defense mechanism um, because apparently what the murder hornet does, and the murder hornet, just like any other hornet, even like a yellow jacket, it is carnivorous. It's going to eat other bees, other insects. It likes meat. And the way that the Asian honeybees have defended themselves against the Asian giant hornet, which is the real name for the murder hornet, is they lure the Asian giant hornet into their nest um, and they wait until it gets deep inside and it starts spraying its pheromone around inside the nest. Uh, and that is to attract other murder hornets to that spot, similar to when you get stung by a honeybee. It leaves a pheromone, the other bees know where to get you. I mean, uh, let me tell you, I know about that. Um, I've got video of bees chasing me and it's no fun. But when the bees get the hornet inside the nest, they actually ball the, the murder hornet and they will raise their body temperature to the point where it kills the murder hornet but does not kill them. I think the threshold is like 111 degree, excuse me, 
is it 111 degrees? I think it's 111 degrees for 109 or 111 degrees uh, is the heat threshold of a murder hornet. And the threshold of a honeybee is like 116, 114. And uh, they get right up to the edge of themselves dying, uh, but they wipe out the murder hornet so that it cannot go back to its nest and bring its brethren uh, or its sisters. I don't know whether they're all female or not. I'm going to assume that they, most of them are, um, back to the hive to kill the bees. Um, so that's something that the Asian honeybees do. European honeybees, on the other hand, they don't do that. So there aren't any natural defenses built into the European honeybee from what I've read thus far. Now, I don't know whether that applies to the, to the uh, Russian strains or some of these other strains of, of bees that we have. Um, I'm pretty certain that if a murder hornet goes onto an Africanized hive, it's going to be quite a battle, and I don't know who's going to win. I'm, I'm guessing that the Africanized bees are going to just completely wipe out the murder hornet because you don't want to get near those things. Anyways, what we want to make sure is we want to make sure that we don't have meddling scientists do what they did to the, to the European honeybee with the Africanized bees um, in order to make the Africanized bees, or in order to make the Africanized European honeybee hybrid go out and gather more honey. They thought that they were going to, to modify by breeding, crossbreeding uh, the Africanized strain and the European strain of honeybee. They thought that they were going to make these bees go out and gather more honey, and all they did was create the killer bees. Um, we don't want the same thing to happen, scientists. So if you get the idea of trying to blend our bees with the Japanese bees or whatever bees ball the prey, please don't do it. Um, the bees are going to figure it out, and until they do, there's things that we beekeepers can do to keep the, the murder hornets out of our hives. Um, some of those things that we can do, we can take advantage of the fact that the murder hornets are large. They're quite large. They're about two inches. I saw a picture of a murder hornet laying next to three pennies lined up, and that's, a, that's an awful big hornet. Um, but we have things like, like uh, entrance reducers. We have things like uh, mouse guards uh, that our bees can barely fit through. There's no way a murder hornet's going to be able to fit through them. We've got things like the Guardian entrance reducer. Now, I don't think a murder hornet's going to be able to fit through there. So, as beekeepers, if the murder hornets come to our area, I don't think we're going to be running open hives like this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the tools that we already have in our bag to prevent the murder hornets from killing our bees. Now, is that going to stop the murder hornets that are out in the wild? I don't think so. Um, but European honeybees aren't native to the United States anyways. Uh, we beekeepers are the ones that predominantly keep them going, in my opinion. Um, I'm a newbie beekeeper, but I do do a lot of reading, and I think that uh, if the beekeepers were to stop doing what the beekeepers do in the United States, I think the population of European honeybees um, would diminish rapidly. There would still be some in the wild, but not as near as many as there are right now, so, so good for us beekeepers. The last thing that I think that we need to know is that if you come across murder hornet nest, my opinion, I think that you treat a murder hornet nest, if you stumble upon one, which is unlikely, they've only found one, but if you stumble upon one, um, stumble the other way, leave it alone, go away. Uh, chances are they're not going to attack you unless they see you as a threat. If one starts buzzing you, don't swat at it. I don't swat at my bees when I'm mowing past them and they start, they start buzzing me, I let them buzz. If one lands on my arm, I shoo it away. I don't, I don't start swatting at it. If they start stinging you, well, run, right? Run, run, run like the Dickens because they're gonna get you. And they have killed people. I mean, that's why they got the, the name the Murder Hornet because they've killed people. Um, just like the Africanized honeybees, the, the killer bees have killed people. And they do that by the sheer volume of their stings and their aggression when you get too near one of their uh, one of their hives or one of their their dens their nests um they see that as a threat and they're going to come after you and uh then it's game on so run like the dickens so there you go there have been confirmed murder hornets in the united states and i don't think that we have to worry about them um i think that over time it's going to take care of itself uh, but again, if you see a murder hornet nest, if you're up there in upstate Washington or somewhere on the West Coast and you see a murder hornet nest, just report it to your extension service or, or, or an authority figure there and let them know, hey, this is what I've seen. Maybe they'll find out whether or not it is what you think it is or is what it is and they'll deal with it and 
prevent it from coming to Georgia where, where I keep bees. Um, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Maybe we'll get back in the beehives next week. It's kind of hot out there and we are in the middle of dearth. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do me a favor, uh, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around three o'clock. We try to keep it light unless we're talking about murder hornets. Murder hornets, I mean, how do you keep murder hornets light, right? They're, they're, they're called murder hornets, right? They're gonna, they're gonna get you. Um, but if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if you have something to say, by all means, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. With all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care. Have a great day.